tonight. But you don't like <laughs> the switch of the back. To my channel my name is little elf katie and welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a start of my festive fun for the next few weeks and i am beyond excited that christmas is coming and i just want to say a merry christmas and a happy new year and all of the other holidays happy holidays everything to everybody out there before i even start i'm sure i will say it again and again and again a video today of scenarios during the christmas period and i'm going to dress for them so i have had a few suggestions from quite a few people so i am just going to get right on in but what would i wear okay so i have my little book here so the first situation is from Christine and she is um, the CEO and manager and maker and all things fantastic over at How Gill Crafts on Etsy. I shall link her um, shop down below. I'm just going to pop a few examples of her work. Her work is absolutely exquisite and I mean attention to detail. She does everything. She makes the gifts she uses brown paper she hand stamps on the brown paper she does everything she her attention to detail is second to none so if you are looking for a last minute christmas gift you better hurry up and get over there because i think she will be closing her shop very very soon but in the meantime you can have a browse and think about maybe next year's christmas presents but this was her I suggestion her or suggestion either. was carol singing so let's do the carol singing so i'm thinking maybe i don't know a a jumper a roll neck i know i've got a black roll neck in here for carol singing i think that would be good and also i've got a slip dress so i'm going to pop on the um roll neck and a slip dress and i will be back Okay, so I've got the roll neck on and then I've got the slip dress on over the top. I'm going to add a pair of leggings or tights if you want. But I'm going to just add these because then I'm going to add in some boots for a little bit of warmth and a little bit of comfort. I'm just going to And then these are the boots that I shall be styling them up with. These are my, um, I think they're my Bottega Veneta dupes. I got these from Ego Shoes last year. They had a massive sale and I, I purchased them from there. And I tell you what, they are the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. And I wish I'd bought two pairs because they kind of change up their shoes, but hopefully... I can get them again so i've popped those on now then i'm thinking we're going to be singing it's going to be outside and i put on my little baker boy hat just make sure i get that on properly so bring you up there a little bit there we go so as you can see i've got my layers on and my hat and i think just to finish it off i am going to pop on my black leather blazer So this is what I would probably go out carol singing in. I would probably put some earrings in. So let's have a look. Earrings, earrings. Something sparkly, I think. Something sparkly, but not too much. These are just some um, earrings that I've made out of Swarovski crystals. So I'll pop those on. And actually, because I've got those... 
I've got this fantastic necklace that I picked up from um, a charity shop in Wales and it's amazing. It's this one here and it's got all kinds of different hardware on there and then it's got the pearls on. So I think with this, with the high low of the neckline, yeah, that's going to sit perfect. So that is what I would wear for carol singing. That is the whole outfit. So there you go. I've kind of tried to change the camera angle. I'm hopefully going to get a new camera soon. So there we go. That is my carol singing outfit. So that is from, what is that? Does anybody else do that? Take out the, take out a mask that they've got in their coat pocket. Right then. So the next outfit that she has suggested is Christmas shopping and then you send off the old man with the kids, see you later, and then you're going to stay out for a few sherbets with the girls. So, so my thinking for this, you want to be comfortable obviously for Christmas shopping in the day. So I'm thinking of another jumper because it's going to be a little bit cold probably won't be layering up as much because you're not going to be outside you're usually inside so I'm thinking a, a nice jumper I've got one from Zara that I picked up at a charity shop it was brand new with tags uh, it's got like a puff sleeve I was thinking about that and I've um I've flipped not thrift flip because they were new but I just wasn't wearing them um they were new from last year and I just wasn't wearing them so I made a pair of Bermuda shorts out of some wide leg pleather trousers so I'm probably going to use those two things. So I'll get changed into them and then we can add on all the other bits and pieces. Okay, so this is the jumper in question. It's a lovely soft jumper and it's got these lovely gold flecks going all the way through. Um, and then these are said Bermuda shorts. For earrings, I picked these up the other day in my Animal SOS um, charity shop in, in, my, in my town. And I think these are going to be absolutely bob on for this. So I'm just going to put these in. Hopefully it won't fall out. There we go. Sometimes, you know, like when you wait in between earrings, they fall out. <laughs> so these earrings are absolutely fantastic. I love that. Add a bit of festive sparkle to the outfit. So you could, you could just have these in your purse, you know, and then add these on afterwards and then some gold kind of like block heel the block heel is cool because they're not going to hurt your feet during the day and they're like a little chelsea boot as well so i'm just going to pop those on now then i haven't got tights on i would do tights but i've still got the leggings on from the last so just imagine that i've got tights on <laughs> so that is what i would wear with that and then i would use a little bag. Now then, would I use a belt? Would I have a belt? I'm sure I've got a chain belt in here that would look really cool. So we've got the chain later. belt as well, which I think you could probably keep in your handbag as well. If you want to keep them, you can send the old man off with the big handbag and you keep the small one. Which I should just go and get. What I'd use is this one with the old uh, chain mail. So I've got that and then also you've got to have a little bit of a cocktail ring, haven't you? And this is just a... Bless you! And this is just a cocktail ring that I made um, whilst I was on Jewelry Maker. It's literally a bit of backing fabric with one of these. Uh, this is actually from Swarovski. They don't do them anymore. They're discontinued. Um, but they're kind of like this chain mail. And I sewed it onto a bit of backing fabric and then glued it onto a piece of wire. So then you've got yourself a nice little um, cocktail ring. And that is... 
my outfit for going out shopping and then partying with the girls. Okay then, so next outfit is a suggestion from Zara Royal and she sent me a message here on YouTube so thank you very much Zara and her two suggestions she's got one for a Christmas day outfit and one for a work Christmas party so absolutely chef's kiss amazing I'm gonna do the Christmas day outfit first so Christmas day to me you want to be comfortable but you want to be stylish you kind of want to have a bit of glitz and glam but you're going to be if you're like me cooking dinner taking the dog for a walk all of these kind of things usually what i do is i'll dress from the top up and then i'll put a pair of leggings on to take the dog out and then i'll change when i get back in but we'll just assume that we've taken the dog for a walk we're now sitting down with our bucks fizz at brioche and uh opening presents whilst listening to fantastic christmas music and to do that i would wear a kind of i wouldn't wear anything jumper no way because i mean i'm it's well by the time i'm filming this now it's mid november and i am it's boiling i don't know why it's just boiling it's a really mild day today so i'm really hot so i probably wouldn't wear something like this i would probably wear i've got a lace top we're still sticky with the black and gold it's very much a theme throughout this video at the moment black and gold lace top it's got the most amazing puff sleeves and we shall work from there i think i'm probably going to wear a pleather skirt as well so we shall work from there and i'm just going to go and put that on now and then we'll dress it all up in a second all right so here we go we are ready for christmas day lace top this is marks and spencers that i got it in the charity shop probably about four years ago and i love this top to pieces it is one of my all-time favorites it gets used a lot in a lot of my recreate the runways as well i just love 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 this top it is just amazing and then i got this pleather a-line midi skirt i got this from the charity shop it was brand new with tags and i think that it was uh, from next and it was originally 35 pounds and i got it for two pounds i think or three pound 95 something like that but i have had this for years as well so the other day when i got those sparkly lovely tassel earrings i also picked up these babies and i love them i think they're like little icicles absolutely amazing they're going to look fabulous with the outfit so if you just got like a little chain or something with a pearl on, you could put that on. But I think these earrings are the statement. Just a nice little pop of elegance. Can't I put that in? Oh my word, everything's throwing itself at me today, isn't it? Right then, so... I'll try and put this one in. I don't know what was wrong with that back. Right, so there we go. We have got a lovely little bit of elegance. Now then, speaking of elegance, you're probably going to think, Katie, you're going to spoil it. You're going to spoil it with these. But remember, we're inside. We're kind of going around making sure everybody's okay. If you've got guests, you'll be filling up their drinks and things like that. So you could either go for the um, obligatory fluffy slippers or you could go for a pair of crocs now then before you all go oh lord no yes yes and hear me hear me out okay now then i found a shop on depop now there's probably lots of shops in fact i think there's lots on etsy as well you can be jewel be dazzle and make your crocs festive as you can see here, I've got some Gucci little, now I don't know what they're called, are they charms or something? But I've got these. I'm gonna show you a whole load of different ones that I purchased from the shop that I will link below and you can make your Crocs look spectacular. So here are some of the ones I got. So to start off with, I got these Coco Chanel ones. As you can see, they've just got like a little, a little nubbin that sticks inside the Croc there. So I've 
I've purchased these ones. These ones are a little big, but you know, these Chanel-esque ones, I love these. I might even take these bits off the back and turn them into a brooch or something. But I love these. So I got those. I got these Dior, Christian Dior, with the little B. And then the Jador on there. A little bit of Louis. Louis, Louis, Louis. And last but not least, and my husband's got his eyes on these because he thinks that he's going to put these on his. Prada. So I will link the shop below and honestly it's just a great way to uh, dress up your crocs. You could have them all over if you wanted to. She's got loads of different ones, not just designer, she's got characters, there's all kinds of things. But this is what I want to be wearing so on my feet. Thank you so much for, from Zara. That was Zara, wasn't it? Yes. So your next one is a work party. So I am going to, I think I'm going to wear that black top again actually that I uh, well actually no I that I was wearing at the beginning of the video that black I'm gonna wear that I've got some feathers I have got a fantastic tool skirt that I got in the charity shop years ago as well I'm just gonna put them on and I will be back okay so this is the basic outfit I, I won't wear them like that this is the basic outfit so we've got this tool style skirt that was originally from new look and I got this from the charity shop Obviously, this is that workout top. If you've got a body top, you could do that. A mesh top as well. Remember, if you want to do the mesh top, I just thought I'd do something a little bit more um, not so showy for the office. So the next thing I'm going to add is the bag that I made. Well, not bag. The uh, thrift flip bag that I used as a necklace and, and made into a necklace i shall link that video below so i'm going to pop that on just adds a fan oh it just feels so good it feels so nice it just adds that lovely kind of waterfall look and then i'm going to add i picked this up at the charity shop ages ago it's from coast but it's like a bolero style jacket it's not really a jacket it's kind of like a just a shawl but that just looks sensational i love it like that so i would wear that and then i would probably wear those earrings I wear, actually no i wouldn't i wouldn't wear those earrings would i i don't know let's have a look let's see what they look the earrings that i got from would i wear these it is christmas but no i think leaving it like that if you've got some little gold hoops or some uh diamondy style earrings i think that would look amazing and then for a bag to go with the necklace i've got this i picked this up at a car boot sale for two quid it's like a, a chanel uh knockoff it's got a strap in there but i would just use it as a clutch so we've got that that picks out the colors of this and then we've got the silver in the skirt and then for shoes i would put on my alexander mcqueen shoes i love these as you can see here they've got a fantastic 90s style to them they've got a zip on the back and the hardware is silver so everything is kind of matching and cohesive so that is what i would wear for my office party if i had one or works works do i don't know even know if that work is going to have one um but that is what i would wear I just need okay then so thank you very much to those two lovely ladies for their suggestions we have got one well two more suggestions and they are both from the ever suffering my mum thanks mum um yes yeah, so my mum suggested a couple she said i want to suggest some so i was like okay knock yourself out so her first one is picking a christmas tree so i'm literally just going to take this off this off and the skirt and i'm probably going to put on very similar or exactly the same thing that i had on when i started this video but just to add a few little bits and pieces to it just to zhuzh it up make it stylish make it great for going to pick a christmas tree okay so i have taken off all of the ball ball edge if that's even a word a word a word oh my goodness me i am so warm right anyway so i've got on my adidas tracksuit bottoms 
I am going to add a denim jacket. This denim jacket I picked up from the charity shop and it was long, I chopped it, now it's short. So that's that. I'm going to pop that on. It, it was an old Forever 21 um, jacket. I think it would have been quite a hard sort of like denim material, but it's been worn that much that it's really soft, really soft. So that's the first, the second layer. So we've got this and then we've got the next layer. Don't forget, you could put your, your little handies through. Then I'm going to take the top to this Adidas tracksuit. And what I'm going to do is put the sleeves out the right way first. And here it is. And I'm going to hold on to my jacket. Bring that through. So then your denim jacket pops through at the end. Do the same again on this side pull that down and then there you've got a nice layered look just zhuzh yourself up a little bit pop the collar sort all of that out there you go so we're going to go and pick a Christmas tree you're nice and cosy you're layered up what's the one thing you want to have nice little beanie on your head and here is my beanie i love this beanie i've had this beanie for a long time and i just add brooches to my beanie because i like adding brooches to everything and i'm literally just going to plonk said beanie on my head there we go let that go like that and that is basically oh and i would wear my Bottega Veneta doopy doop doops with this and that would be me going to pick a Christmas tree oh Christmas tree okay so the next one and the very last outfit well this one's going to be difficult for me because well it is getting ready for bed on Christmas Eve. Let's see what That's I come what up I would with. I will be wearing when I get myself ready for bed for Santa to come downstairs, empty his sack, and then I can see what he, he's given me. So thank you everybody for participating in this what I would wear scenario situation for Christmas. Thank you. I will put everybody's links in the description box below. I am now going to go to sleep. Just remember, look after yourselves. Look after everybody else. The world is your Christmassy festive catwalk. Right. Time for me to go to sleep now. Night-night.